everybody, I'm Barry Tompkins, and welcome back to the monthly installment of Show Report, highlighting the best of Showtime boxing from the month of February. On February 17th at the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, we saw the emergence of a title contender in a bout that was baffling and exciting all at the same time. We saw the first defense of boxing's youngest champion and the best one-punch knockout so far this year. Kicking off our championship telecast was an IBF welterweight eliminator between contenders Jordan Asugas and Ray Robinson, both highly touted but relatively unknown. After a short feeling out process, Ugas started to take control. And the right hand drops the new Ray Robinson. While the replays show a tangling of feet, the knockdown appeared to give Robinson a wake up call. Oh, nice combination by Robinson, but a, a quick counter by Ugas as the action picks up here in the final seconds of the first. The action picked up again in the fourth round as Ugas backed Robinson up and tempers flared after the bell. Oh, punches after the bell! Robert Byrd deducting a point for punching after the bell. And the second half of this scheduled 12 round fight begins. No oh, counter! Right hand sends Robinson crashing to the canvas for the second time of the fight. Ugas tries to close the show on the new Ray Robinson. One way traffic. All Jordanis Ugas here in round seven. And Ugas, 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 he can't fight this feeling. The biggest win of his career. Jordanis Ugas's Showtime Championship boxing debut secured him a position as an elite contender in the competitive division that's ruled right now by Keith Thurman and Earl Spence. Next up was a rematch for the WBC Super Middleweight Championship. David Benavidez, the youngest current champion in boxing and the youngest ever at 168 pounds, made the first defense of his title against a familiar foe, Ronald Gavriel. It didn't take long for them to get reacquainted with one another. The young champion displayed crisp combinations and constant pressure in the early rounds, and then found an opening in round four. Oh, what a beautiful right uppercut left hand combination, and what a chin on display by Gavriel. While Benavidez constantly applied pressure, Gavriel's resolve never wavered. The illustrious combinations, the sublime body work, and yet, Ronald Gavriel stands in front of him, a proud Romanian fighter. As the fight wore on, ringside observers noticed Benavidez wasn't throwing his right hand, a sign that it could be injured. However, he was able to fend off the late attack by Gavriel, who will certainly be back on the stage again. Benavidez proved he's much more than a power puncher, winning 35 out of the 36 scored rounds by the three judges. And he continues his reign as 168-pound champion. It's almost a year since Danny Garcia suffered his first loss, a close split decision to the number one welterweight in the world, Keith Thurman. It's never easy to predict how a fighter will respond to his first defeat. Some never recover the form that led them to be undefeated. Others rally, coming back as strong or even stronger than before. For an opponent in this all-important fight, Garcia chose former lightweight champion and legendary brawler, Brandon Rios. You have to wonder, after so many wars, how much is left with Brandon Rios. But Garcia never let Rios turn it into the brawl he would have liked. Oh, nice combination. Garcia targeted the body, fired the right hand over the top. He controlled the distance, he counterpunched effectively, and he tied up Rios every time he got inside. Bam Bam is ready to show his Corazon and cojones once again. In the ninth round and way ahead on the scorecards, Garcia brought the fight to the middle of the ring and following a lazy Rios jab, he landed a perfectly thrown right hand. Danny Garcia did exactly what he wanted to in this return to the ring. 
and reminded everyone that he is still one of the best at 147 pounds. I came to box and I, I gave the fans what they wanted, a knockout. That'll do it for Show Report, February 2018.